What's up internet? This is Hourglass Gaming. Today uh, we have a review of the featured game mode Pilot Skirmish. Uh, this mode came to Titanfall with update 6 and has been pretty controversial among the Titanfall player base. A pilot's only game mode has been rumored since launch um, and a lot of people seem to be resistant of the mode. Uh, just because it takes away a lot of what makes Titanfall unique and what it brings to the table and it turns that into kind of a more generic shooter. So I've played a fair amount of Pilot Skirmish over the last couple days so I wanted to try and give an unbiased review of the game mode. Pilot Skirmish pits eight pilots on each side against each other without the support of grunts or titans and the first thing I noticed when I jumped into this game mode was how empty the maps felt. Titanfall is typically a loud and visually chaotic game. Uh, you've got pilots jumping around, titans running around smashing each other, drop pods hitting the ground, grunts roping in from drop ships. Um, a lot of the environments have moving components and there's almost always an aerial battle going on above your head. And all of that makes Titanfall a really fast paced and energetic game and that energy simply isn't present in Pilot Skirmish. Titanfall maps are well designed for the purpose that they serve, which is to provide opportunities for both pilots and titans. Um, the titan component of this and the pilot's mobility means that Titanfall maps are much larger than typical infantry only games like something like Call of Duty. And so those large spaces are filled in normal gameplay by the inclusion of titans and grunts, the two things that pilot skirmish lacks. So in normal gameplay, on your way to track down other pilots, you'll probably run into a squad of grunts or specters, which will fill that space. And the other thing that makes Titanfall maps seem smaller is that the combat is a lot more focused. Um, and the thing that causes this is that titans can't run with silencers. So whenever a titan fires its weapon, it is revealed on the minimap, which means everyone else on the map can gravitate towards that spot as they try to either destroy or protect the titan that's firing its weapon. And so this means that fights are a, a lot more focused on maps than they might be without that, and so then your chances of running into an enemy are greatly increased. This isn't the case with Pilot Skirmish though. Pilots running with silencers don't ever appear on the minimap, which means that a lot of the time, if an engagement happens on the other side of the map, you won't know about it. This and the relative vacancy of the maps means that you can spend extended periods of time running around looking for pilots to fight. This clip is an example of that, where I spend an entire minute running around without finding anyone. And this problem is exacerbated by the complexity of Titanfall's map design. Uh, Titanfall maps have hundreds of routes to move from one location to another, which means that as a pilot um, fighting only pilots, it's impossible to know where your enemy will come from. And so while I was playing, oftentimes my minute-long marathons would end with me getting shot in the back. I think map design is what holds pilot skirmish back, um, simply because the maps aren't meant to be played this way. Those myriad routes are really important to give pilots an edge over titans um, so that titans can get ambushed. But when you ambush a titan, it's not a one-shot kill and the titan has time to respond. Um, whereas when you're a pilot, it's not based on skill, it's not based on what you're doing. Um, if you get shot in the back, you simply die. So those routes are important to give pilots an edge over titans um, and they're intentional features of the map but they don't translate well into pilot-only gameplay. Pilot Skirmish wasn't a complete waste of time though. Um, some of the maps were really enjoyable. I played one game on Colony that was completely nuts. Pilots were running in tight packs and you were never more than a few seconds away from an engagement. I still died a huge amount, but it was a great game and I had a lot of fun on a map that is one of my least favorites in um, Attrition. Pilot Hunter also forced me to up my game when playing as a pilot. My typical strategy in game modes like Attrition is to get into a Titan as fast as possible uh, because that's where I excel. Um, and so without that available to me, I did feel like I was able to return to some of the lessons that I learned when I played games like Call of Duty and Battlefield. So if you're struggling to succeed as a pilot in Titanfall, it might be advantageous to practice in pilot skirmish to hone your skills and then take that back into mixed pilot and Titan uh, game mode. Pilot Hunter also allowed some weapons that aren't often used in normal game modes to come into the spotlight. 
the longbow DMR and the Kraber armor piercing sniper were two weapons that are relatively uncommon in attrition, um, and those were used a lot more frequently in pilot skirmish. I had one game in, on Lagoon uh, where both teams were using the Kraber, um, and we just all had long range sniper duels, and it was a lot of fun because everyone was just using it as an opportunity to use that weapon. Um, and no one was concerned with winning the game. Um, and that kind of just allowed us to experiment with something that isn't as practical in other game modes, um, like something like the R101C, uh, which will be a lot more adaptable. Uh, so it was nice to see those weapons get them used. Ultimately, I don't think Pilot Hunter detracts from the Titanfall experience, but I don't think it adds much either. I think it would be more effectively implemented if it was tailored to specific maps that would focus combat more and make it run at a faster pace. I did enjoy my time with it, though not as much as I like playing Attrition or other game modes, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if Pilot Skirmish does not get a permanent slot on the playlist just because it offers so much less than the normal Titanfall experience does. Pilot Skirmish wasn't the only update that we got um, with Update 6. Uh, Marked for Death game mode got a permanent slot in the playlist, um, and features were also added to make Titanfall more accommodating towards players with colorblindness. The black market now has daily deals uh, where you can buy specific burn cards, and which burn cards are available changes every day, um, and you can buy individual cards for an increased cost, though most only cost a few hundred credits, and some of the really rare ones cost about a thousand. So that's a good way to get specific cards that you want if you're looking for just one specific burn card. There is also a new burn card called Roll the Dice, which will allow you access to your entire deck in a game. This isn't a typical burn card in that you don't actually burn it. Instead, you put it into your hand for the game, and then it randomly allocates a burn card from your deck every minute and 30 seconds. So if you had three Roll the Dice, then you can have three randomly allocated cards get renewed every minute and 30 seconds, which has the potential to keep you burn cards supplied for a whole game. So you're never going into an engagement without a burn card active. This won't win you any games, but it'll certainly give you an edge. They also added a feature where you can select to have your hand automatically filled, and so that at the start of a game, if you didn't have time to go in and uh, search through your deck for what cards you wanted, you'll still go into the game with cards. It does this by random allocation, so you aren't guaranteed to get a good mix of burn cards. You might get three amped pilot weapons or three titan burn cards. It's completely random, so there's no guarantee. Finally, what happens if you drop into a game late has been changed. If you come into a game late and your team loses, then the loss isn't filed on your record. But if you come into a game late and you win, then it will still be filed on your win-loss record. So it's just a little added incentive so that you don't feel like you're being penalized for dropping into a losing side of a game um, without any chance to turn things around. That's about it for today's video, guys. Thanks for your time and have a great day.